Hi, my name is Chris Morrison, the Programme Director of the ACT Waste Feasibility Study Programme that's currently running. This is a two-year programme to look at how we redesign, transform the whole environment, social and waste education and disposal across our territory. This programme is designed to actually move us from a currently average form of actually recycling, the same as every other government, to very rapidly and quickly towards a 95% recycling. But let's step back a bit in the, to the challenge that we all have in the current day. The challenge we have in the current day is we actually reform multiple things time again and we actually never actually get to the point of true change. This programme is the pathway for two years of how we are going to transform the journey of our community, our government and ourselves. Thank you. My name is Chris Morrison. I lead the ACT Waste Feasibility Programme into transforming the journey of waste, environment, social and recycling for all our community now and in future generations. Our job is not to redesign the past of what we do, but to rise to the challenge of designing the future in our fast changing world. We have actually created and introduced a performance based framework for all our procurement, which is rapidly reducing our prices that we actually have to pay, increasing the performance based component to partners and creating true partnership with actually the sector in what we're trying to achieve. This successful framework has actually has delivered to us already some amazing outcomes and we'd love to share this journey and this pathway with you at the conference. Thank you. Hi, I'm Andrew Quinn from GHD. You've already heard Chris Morrison telling you a little bit about the plans that the Territory Government has for waste in the ACT. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a particular contract that we helped with and that was for the operation of the MRF here at Hume in the ACT. The contract is outcomes based, a form of contracting where the contractor is paid according to its results. It delivers rather than for simply undertaking particular activities or completing certain tasks. The contractor determines how it will deliver the required outcomes assuming both more control and higher risk than other kinds of contracts. The contractor nominates the KPIs it intends to work to, the methods used to measure them, and the fees, bonuses and penalties it will receive, or pay for meeting, exceeding or not meeting the stated KPIs. So the contract for the Hume MRF has been let, and our presentation will talk about how that process worked and the advantages and disadvantages of this system. Thank you.